Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Adame and welcome back to a brand new video. A brand new easter egg has been found and solved on the voyage of despair. Today I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it. So without further ado, let's get straight into that video. So last night I was tweeted a video by a YouTuber by the name of Free and Say and it shows him activating a new easter egg step on Voyage of Despair. So me and my team jumped into the game and we actually managed to solve it and today I'm going to teach you how to do it and what rewards you will get for completing this easter egg. So if you take yourself up into the mid decks in Voyage you're going to find some big tubes or sort of stacks pointing out of the ground and to activate this step you're going to need to shoot one of these actual stacks. As to what weapon you're going to need is not 100% sure but I can tell you all the weapons that we used and worked and it seems like any pack a punch weapon will activate this. There are about five to six different stacks you can shoot and only one of them will activate at a time and it's completely random per game. The guns that I used when I was in game I used the Hades which was pack a punch with cryo freeze on it. I also used the Hitchcock which was pack a punch with brain rot. I also used a sniper rifle as well, the Paladin which had cryo freeze on it and that also activated it. We had two friends in another game who used a single pack a punched Hades with no special abilities and that worked as well. But on the same hand, I also jumped in a game with a normal pack a punched Mozu, and that particular gun didn't work. So it's kind of touch and go exactly what weapons will activate this. We thought it was explosive weapons, but we've done it with non-explosive weapons. We thought it was the cryo freeze, but we've done it with attachments without cryo freeze. And we thought it was double pack a punch, but we've done it with guns that are single pack a punch. So of course, I didn't have time to test all 40 guns and all different variants. It would have been about 100 variants. But guaranteed weapons are the Hades, the Hitchcock, the rocket launcher, and the Paladin 100% activate this step. So you're going to want to shoot one of these stacks. Order doesn't matter, there's no particular order. There's going to be one different pipe activation per game. Whilst you shoot that stack, you're going to get an hourglass symbol appear. Your objective for this is to follow it across the map. You're going to go from the mid deck, it is then going to teleport you all the way into the cargo room. You need to follow it and also take the teleporter with the symbol. You're going to see if you've done it correctly because the hourglass symbol is going to be in front of you whilst you're in a teleporter. You then follow that hourglass upstairs into the mail rooms and it will go up beside the sort of hold, the cargo hold in the center of the room and it will go straight up to the top of the forecastle which is known as the spawn. You then need to run up through the stairs quickly. The symbol will wait for you on the staircase in spawn. So as you watch it go up, quickly run all the way up the stairs and you will see it on the top of the stairs waiting for you. It will then take another teleporter and you will then have to go from the forecastle spawn all the way over to the poop deck. This is your last place you have to go. After you've done that, the hourglass symbol will sort of sit there in the middle, will get smaller and smaller and smaller and then sort of puff away into a big blue animation. And that is it. So far, we believe that's the Easter egg complete. It seems like there could be more to this, but so far there is a reward for doing so, so it could be complete. The reward, you may ask. You get free teleportation, yes. So instead of spending 500 points per teleporter, they are now actually three. You can only get free teleporters three times per round per player. So after you've used a teleporter three times, that's it, it will start costing you 500 points again until you flip the round and then the teleporters will become free again. And of course, each one of your team members can use that teleporter up to three times as well. Not the hugest reward for an easter egg, but Voyage is a very long map and it's quite dependent on teleporters to get back and forth to make transport a lot more easier on this map. So it does really help out and it is a very easy easter egg. So if you've got yourself a pack-a-punch weapon, just shoot one of the random pipes and one of them should eventually activate. Follow it, do the easter egg, you get free teleporters. Again, a big shout out to Free and Say and uh, a big shout out to me and my team for actually managing to solve the full thing after Potsy Gaming, Edo, Mad Cow and JB brown eyed girl as well it took us a few hours to actually get it down and get it solved anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you got anything to add like what weapons do and don't activate the actual easter egg be sure to put them in the comments and the biggest list confirmed list i'll pin it at the top so that can help other people that come into the video but it does seem like just a normal pack a punch weapon should do the job for you homies enjoy the rest of your day until the next video this is your boy dane 